under real estate items. Item number 46, approval of a development agreement with CCC President Street LLC for the development of Felicity at Perry Lane, a 290-unit apartment complex located at 1947 East President Street. Um, Mr. Manager, just as a mm -hmm. uh, question, is are, are there affordable units contained within? Uh, that's that's not my understanding. My understanding is that it's the, all market. The, that it's market. It's and it's being parceled up to, into townhouses. That's not me. Yeah. Mm. Mayor Johnson. Um, uh, yes, ma'am. I would just like to add. We haven't arrived at the uh, item 50 yet, but in tandem to this item and item 50, um, in speaking to the comment that the gentleman made who spoke. Um, during our public hearing, um, this is a part of the duplicitous nature of what we do as point a local order. government. Point um, of order, so the term duplicitous point. is inflammatory. Oh. Oh, thank you Racist, very much. Could you so, please let me so speak? Point of order. So <laughs> first point, point of order please. Please. Uh, you always have to talk all, to me all when I'm talking about Carter. something for a vulnerable community all, uh, or the all black the, all community. All the woman Gibson Back Carter. Off. All the woman Gibson Carter, your, your comments will be directed to the chair. It, so. Um, um, Mr. I believe that the word duplicitous is inflammatory, so if you could just rephrase your, your comments. Mr. If I can make some corrections to my, I, I was thinking about actually number 50. This development agreement is, is really in, in effect for the developer of this property to improve our right of way, okay. uh, so it improves that development. Um, uh, so it really is, an, an, it's, it's $2 million for the, de the developers putting in $2 million to be able to improve the right of way that exists there for this development. Okay. Mr. Melder, the question was from Mayor Johnson related to the 290 units. Is that not what you asked about it being affordable? That wasn't. I misspoke to say that it was being reparceled into townhomes. That's actually a, a later item down the list. I'm not sure about the affordability. That will be another thing that I follow up. I believe it's market rate. Right, and I believe that you are possibly strongly correct and my comment there johnson was this is a part of the duplicitous nature of what we do in local government when we consistently talk about affordable housing but since our time on council there isn't one thing we have done by way of housing affordability when we are consistently and continually voting and approving items like this development and so I wanted to take this opportunity just to acknowledge that because it's my privilege as a sitting councilwoman who represents the voice of the people and they need to hear that somebody is concerned about it. And so as we go forth, Mr. Melder, with your new budget, it is my hope that we will see less of this and more of what we have been talking about here today, sir. Thank you so much. Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, Alderwoman Wilder Bryan. Uh, Council, uh, city manager, and uh, attorney. That is not entirely correct. We just said that we have new houses on Pennsylvania Avenue that are, that, that we are working Finish together in this community. Procedure now. Excuse me. Finish your comment, ma'am. No, I was, I was just saying what? that in the third district, we are working with workforce housing and housing that is affordable. We just put three houses that one of the gentlemen was talking about, the dream maker. So I just want to correct to say that this council has not moved forward on housing that's affordable. I, w I want to be very clear. Um, not only did this council, um, not unanimously, but we passed our first affordable housing plan that has very specific um, pathways to create and retain affordable housing to the tune of 15,000 uh, units a year. Um, we have also made a historic investment in our affordable housing uh, fund uh, to be able to help to spur opportunities for uh, affordable housing. Mr. Attorney, as it relates to this development agreement um, and the Alderwoman's allegation of sorts, um, do we have opportunities uh, at, at this stage of the game to insist or mandate affordable housing as it relates to um, these types of developments? Yes. Blaine. Hmm. Okay, you will. You, you, you can <laughs> start mandating. Yeah, sorry. All right. So, Mr. Melder and I have talked about that this week. Right. Um, you can start to get to a point where we do inclusionary zoning. Correct. But we have um, to pass that zoning. I, I think you're, 
if you're not, I'd be willing to defend it if you want to do it right now. Thank now you. we can clean Let's it up. It. Okay, we can clean it up going forward and make it stronger. But if the development agreements that y'all want to support have an inclusionary zoning element, I'll support it. Fine. We we will not pass this. We refer it back to you. Make it happen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So if I could, if I could just add to this development agreement, this is not. This development agreement does not have, just so council's aware, and to my understanding, does not have anything to do with the housing. And I agree with the city attorney. We were discussing how to put forward an inclusionary zoning ordinance that the city, the mayor, and this council could um, could consider. Um, this is about the improvement of the right of way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so okay. it, it, this development agreement, in, in specific terms, does not um, does not govern the development of the housing. It's about the improvement of the right of way to the development that is going up. Okay. So that, that's the that's right. I want to be specific about what this development agreement is. Okay. Yes, it's about the improvement of our right of way. Okay, so that's let's it. approve this, and then what? What? And I'm I'm asking. I'm hopefully on behalf of council. I have a question. Uh, well, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of council that uh, in two weeks have something for us to look at under first reading as it relates Mayor to Johnson. that. Mayor Johnson, Mr. Mayor or at least the, the framework of that yes, uh, that we can look at for the beginning of the year. Uh, Alderwoman Lanier. Yes, Mr. Mayor, and, and the effort to address some of these problems through policy, I have submitted to the city manager uh, quite a few uh, possible uh, policy initiatives, including the inclusionary zoning piece. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, because we do have the critical need, and right now if we look at the amount of housing that's coming online, I'm sure the market rate or, or outnumber the affordable pieces and we in, in dire need of the affordable housing units. But I did submit the inclusionary zoning policy possibility that you're looking into, uh, a CBO, community benefit, uh, ordinance and anti-gentrification, exemptions, uh, rent management, several. And so we could talk through them with legal and work something out. So thank you very much for having that conversation about the inclusionary zoning because it would be needed and applied in a manner in a situation such as this. So thank you. Thank you. And I think, uh, I, I believe I've issued also a, a draft of you all of an inclusionary zoning ordinance. So this can help get us there. And with the uh, advent of a, a NGO uh, as it relates to implementing our housing Savannah plan, this, this might be a really good time to dovetail this. Alderman Gibson Carter. Mr. Mayor. I'm, 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 go ahead. Alderman Gibson Carter. Yes, thank you. Um, I understand, Mr. Melder, that this is a part of us collaborating with them for right away mm -hmm. offerings, correct? And so, what Alderwoman Ladier has been trying to do, and what I'm essentially expressing and exposing today is to acknowledge that we as a government, we do two things. We approve a lot, but we also hide behind a lot. And so when we are utilizing our power and our authority to incorporate collaborative community agreements, when we have the power for the approval that these developers want, we can ask them for certain things via community benefits agreement. And with 290 units that are not going to be affordable by the average Savannian, I just need to express that. Understood. We have continuously missed opportunities with deals like this. And of course, this precedes you. So we, a staff, we will, we will bring back on first read for the December 21st, um, a draft uh, inclusionary zoning ordinance uh, for this council to debate and consider um, and we will work on as well a community benefits ordinance thank you to, sir to thank you thank you for honoring my request um, um alderman palumbo yeah thank you mr mayor uh, i'm glad that we were able to find the diamond in the rough here to forge a pathway ahead a uh, moment of personal privilege due to the personal remarks made to other members of council at this meeting unfortunately i think that we have to address them at this meeting today Numerous comments were made out of order, uh, inflammatory, not directed to the chair, and then personal statements made towards me where I believe I was called a racist uh, here in this meeting. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, I'd like to move to reprimand Alderwoman Keisha Gibson-Carter for the comment. Uh, these are clearly out of order. We need to 
prepare ourselves and, and behave with absolute decorum when conducting the city's business. Uh, and let's address this and then be able to move on with the rest of the meeting. When did this occur, sir? Uh, during, the, during this meeting, uh, during this discussion, sir. He called you a racist? Yes. All Wilma Gibson Carter? Yes. Did you call him a racist? Are we going to really spend city time I'm asking on a an accusation? I'm asking you a and question. And I'm not answering your question. Okay. Um, we'll take that under advisement and we'll, we'll uh, um, investigate that accordingly. Mayor Johnson. But we will not stand for, for name calling uh, or disrespect of our colleagues. Be clear. All the, okay, good. I'm glad you're clear. All the women, Miller Blakely. Thank you.